If you are elected and you learned that the government knew aliens had visited Earth and the public didn't know, would you want the public, would you sure the public found out? Well, it, it depends on uh, what these aliens were like um, and whether they were Democrats or Republicans. A former astronaut who walked on the moon says aliens exist and that the government has been covering up incidents of contact for years now. Dr. Edgar Mitchell says aliens have visited our planet and he believes the government covered up the discovery of an alien spacecraft in 1947 as well as four alien bodies that were found in the desert. The reason for the denial was, uh, number one, we didn't, they didn't know if these were hostile and could we uh, protect ourselves from them. Didn't want the Soviets to know, so they could devise to, to lie about it and cover it up. Well, Dr. Mitchell is a veteran of the Apollo 14 mission, and he walked on the moon back in February of 1971. Years now, polling has shown that a majority of Americans believe the government, our government, simply isn't telling all it knows about those lights in the sky, whatever they are. What's in these files? Well, this is uh, extremely uh, exciting news here in the UK. It's a massive story. Uh, what we've seen is the first step in a, a three to four year program to release the government's entire archive of UFO files. Now, some of the material in there, uh, and we've got just in this first batch uh, about 2,000 pages of documentation. Um, some of it's quite mundane, but in amongst um, those, those reports, we've got some absolutely fascinating cases. Uh, a lot of UFOs seen by police officers. We've got some cases where pilots uh, have seen UFO, and we've got a really amazing case where a UFO was tracked on military radar, traveling uh, uh, 10 right. nautical miles in 12 seconds. It's a whole separate topic, which is a technological topic, because this man we're talking to now has told us about technology that we didn't know existed. You have actually the understanding, if you don't have the factory, to actually be able to make these machines and you can also confirm that that the powers that be on planet earth actually have access to this technology and use it for all kinds of reasons is this correct uh, as far as i can tell uh, there are a number of governments that have this technology uh, my feeling is and or my knowledge is that it's been acquired from people who came to this planet from off planet uh, and it's been from uh, the reading of a lot of ancient documents uh, dating back as far as 6,000 years. To the Sumerians? To the Sumerians. I have a, uh, a Sumerian document that's been translated that tells exactly how to build a, a flying saucer. And it's a direct translation. And uh, it uh, probably doesn't give everything, but it certainly gives the principles. Mm. And I've uh, experimented with a number of those principles and find out that things take place that in modern physics aren't, aren't possible. Mm. I've never seen anything in writing that would lead me to believe that we had that kind of technology on this. The attempt to cover this up and to disguise the issue and uh, create misinformation and disinformation is very well recorded. And the documentation from very fine researchers like Dr. Robert Wood uh, and his son Ryan, who've investigated uh, all of the early documents all point to the same story. Hey, we've, we're not alone here when we've been visited. So you confirm the, the secret government has um, these tools, this, this, they, uh, have this, the, they have the technology and tools this technology. for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell us um, secret um, technologies that uh, may come, um, make free ourselves um, when the, the secret government uh, fall? Well, there are technologies, of course, uh, using the Kashmir effect or the zero-point energy. That's a definite. I pointed it out in exist. Zurich. It's no. a definite, and this is not even classified information. It's just um, you need to know where to go to, to see it. I'm talking about in government. It's not even classified. And neither is gravity shielding, which is similar to anti-gravity, but it's shielding. You, you take a material and you put it here something above it and and the, and it lessens the it shields the gravitational force this this technology exists and there are places you can go you can go to xxx you know dot l a n l dot gov 
losalamosnationallabs.gov. Mm. Uh -huh. Go to that website and then do a little search. Uh -huh. Dig through their archives, their physics archives. So we, we can have uh, um, flying saucers in, in a short period of time yeah, you using can, it. You can have that. The thing is, is that we need to balance this, all this technology that's, that is available uh, or uh, can be public we need to first work on the spiritual and the sociological research, problems. The British uh, UFO Research time. Association had many 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 reports over the years about sightings we have a substantial archive actually we have somewhere in the region of 12 to 15,000 um, case files going back as far as 1925 so it's quite a substantial amount of documentation Quite possibly Peter, more than the ministry itself has. Is there ever going to be a disclosure that any of this stuff about UFOs or other races not born on Earth would ever get out to the public? I, I, I've heard uh, kind of through the grapevine that uh, uh, I, I know that Reagan was asked and uh, asked to disclose such things, the truth about uh, flying saucers and alien people. I know that JFK was asked those things and said he would do something, and I know there was pressure to put to bear on both of them to say nothing. I have heard that the current president was planning to uh, make such announcements later in the year or late in the year. Who knows what's going to happen, but I've heard that, uh, that his desire, and it, I may be wrong, I don't know. I've heard it through the grapevine. A man hasn't told me himself. He was going to announce that... Uh, that there are indeed uh, such things as flying saucers and there is indeed uh, technology transfer and there is indeed uh, uh, beings behind it that didn't come from this, uh, this planet. Studies have been done that quote clearly indicate the likelihood of an extraterrestrial explanation but there are people sitting out there, I'm hoping there are millions of people watching at the moment, who are saying this is nutty. Why, you know, why, why do we even talk about such things? The polls show otherwise, Shepard. Uh, CNN time, Reuters polls, last 10 years, consistently. 50% of all Americans believe the extraterrestrial explanation accounts for these sightings. Up to as many as 90% of Americans believe the government is outright lying. Uh, the polls are unambiguous. Year after year, the same thing. In fact, if you could talk anonymously to people, even in Congress, probably 50% of members of Congress already confirmed, convinced that the extraterrestrial presence explains this phenomenon. He's black factions and such, uh, these dark operations, they are very weak. They are very weak and powerless. Really? Yes, they are very weak, especially if you, if you realize that we are living in a, in a, 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 a galaxy full of, full of worlds uh -huh. and people, people like you and me basically, and they already know what is going to happen, but they are watching this, this change happen now, and they are supporting it and helping gently and quietly gently and quietly behind scenes and if you are aware of that then you don't have anything to be afraid of um, yeah. why are you are you so sure of that because I've met so many of these people well, I'm seeing that what we're looking at is um, basically a very substantial defeat of the New World Order uh, which then will also eliminate their financing to continue to harass disclosure groups um, I've come into possession with two new pieces of information, neither of which I can share, uh, extremely confidential, but both of which suggest that disclosure is absolutely going to happen and it's actually being planned, completely separate from the Pete Peterson stuff. This all came in within the last, like, three or four days. Um, so I definitely think that they want to trigger off a second industrial revolution. I think they realize that disclosing the UFO phenomenon will do that for them. But what they don't realize is that the tertiary benefits to all the rest of us that they probably don't understand will so dramatically eclipse whatever industrial advantage and financial advantage they think this is going to give them that it will create a paradigm shift. Disclosure is at hand. It is very close. And the American people need to prepare themselves very soon for an announcement from our government that there is, in fact, an extraterrestrial presence engaging this planet and the human race. All right. Well, there you have it.